The cactus or prickly pear, also known as Hindi or Carmos in Algeria. This fruit tree comes from Mexico, introduced to the Mediterranean region about 16th century. After that, they spread out to the northern Africa since the 17th century and became a favorable fruit used as food and for healing purposes. During the two last decades, cactus farming has widely spread in Algeria, not only in the northern areas, where usually used as natural windbreak or to mark the boundaries of family lands. However, prickly pear can be found nowadays in abundance cultivated on a large scale across different regions, thanks to the great efforts made by the High Commission for Staff Development. Since 1994, the High Commission for Staff Development work furthermore for developing this group in involved wilayas. Within their program, the High Commission for Staff Development conducts planting operations in collaboration with farmers every year. Today, the cultivated area exceeds 2,600 hectares and nearly reaches 30 hectares in the east. Since the early 19s, the High Commission for Step Development have been working for many projects of cactus plantation in order to cope with degradation of step lands due to the weather conditions, succession of drop, as well as overexploitation of natural resources in this area. Whereas, this plan has been shown a great socio-economic importance. In fact, the active role of High Commission for Step Development grants high interest based on scientific and technical support and through a series of projects to face desertification and provide feedstock for cattle over the year. As a result of that, more than 3 million hectares of degraded rangeland are improved and rehabilitated in their main activity, which is ranching production in the region. We often eat prickly pear as a fraud throughout the season. But during the period of drought and when fodder prices are high, we use it as a livestock feed. The special adaptation of prickly pear in arid and semi-arid climate of steppe region and the quality of soil contribute effectively to its survival. Also, the high value feed unit estimated at 0.65 UF per 1 kg of dry matter and the high palatability of this plant, all those considered as important factors in the expansion of this plantation. Total cultivated area today exceeds 72,000 hectares. This result were achieved by raising awareness of farmers to adopt this crop as alternative fodder source instead of barley, especially in low output areas that hardly exceed 7 quintal per hectare in the best season, due to low of rainfall or in fallows land and mountainous regions. Production of cactus pad rates from 130 to 200 tons per year. The High Commission for Step Development urges farmers to practice this agriculture by supplying them with free prickly pear pad, carrying them to their holding, and providing the technical support during all plantation operations. Previously, we were small farmers, but thanks to the supply of the High Commission for Step Development by providing us with free pass of prickly pear. Now, we are living with ease. This plant has major benefits because it protects the soil against erosion. In addition, we use it as a feed for livestock instead of the costly fodder in the rough season. We wish that this project could be developed in around country. We also create this association for prickly peers producers. 
Previously, this area was a dry and degraded land. But since 1997, thanks to God and the efforts of the High Commission for Step Development, which encouraged farmers to practice this culture. Today, as you can see, it becomes a green paradise. Prickly pear, with all its compoundments, has not only considered as a super fighter against desertification or source of livestock fed. However, several medical and pharmaceutical uses proven by modern science show amazing benefit on human health. It's really a low calorie and saturated fat substance, play an active role in controlling cholesterol level and obesity. Reduce the thirst and help muscle contraction. Treat indigestion, constipation and gastric acidity. Address high blood pressure. And greet intestinal cleaner of axis waste and reduce bowel tank, abdominal pain and other gastrointestinal problems. <laughs> We already reap the fruit of the cactus for our conception and sometimes we dry them to conserve the fruit for a long time. We use the pickly pear also to treat asthma. It is a tip that I learned it from my grandmother. By boiling the pots to get the extract or heat in and putting them on the chest or on joints to relieve pain. Moreover, they are used even as henna for hair. All cactus part using in agro-industry sector could really build a strong investment in order to expand this cultivation through the establishment of micro-manufacturing units, creating a potential source of employment and ensuring the supply of nearby markets with the local products such as jam, juice, cake and vinegar. I'm very interested by the pickly pear for its beneficial effects on human health. Indeed, all parts of the plant, namely its fruit, pads and even the spins are used to diversify local production in the nearby markets. Cactus also contain essential oil, considered as the most expensive beauty oils in the world. It's highly appreciated natural oil, extracted from seeds of prickly pearl and used it for the beauty purposes and cosmetic industry since ancient time. I learned from the Knack, the United States, from this project of the Hindi, which is the first one of the Barbary or the Tina Shoki, in the Arabic. I have benefited of a project within the National Fund of Employment Insurance of Atal. This project is a microprocessing unit of prickly pear fruit. This machine sorts and greens the fruit. Then it separates fruit from its seeds to clean and dry them to get the oil, which is considered as the best oil in the world. This plant is a source of employment. Why? Because it has great benefits throughout its products, by products and even its impact on environment as it's an anti erosive plant. Being able to develop this plant in either environmental or agribusiness side could have an extraordinary future. So using all parts of prickly pear, the fruit, pulp and seeds, and you have to know that one liter of grain costs 100 euro at least. So this is plant worth gold. And we have to invest a great deal in either agriculture or research side. Nowadays, prickly pear farming has developed across different east regions in the country, such as Khanshla, Tibessa, Sukharas, and Umbwek, thanks to the great efforts made by the High Commission for Step Development. Furthermore, this plant is also considered as a raw material 
that enhance the youth investment and supply local markets. I came to reap the fruits of prickly pear from living. Usually we collect around one quintal of fruit and we sell in on only two days. It's an available and provided product in the market. But there are some problems regarding to the organization of purchase and sale. So we ask the local authorities to solve them and help us financially to expand this trade. Cactus cultivation is no longer an experience in Algeria with regard to the socio-economic impact and environment effects. Today, this plant of minimal care has shown a great value in improving fallows and degraded lands, producing actually tons of these economic products. This result strongly calls for making great efforts to support the livelihood of steppe population and creating sustainable national economy.